Well, this is my C6, and just wanted to show you some C6 tire pressure sensors while I had some. Uh, these are the normal tire pressure sensors that uh, all C6s uh, for the North American market, uh, U.S. and Canada use. It's uh, GM part number uh, 2575. 8220 which is uh, bossed right on the uh, sensor. The sensor ID number is actually uh, on this little barcode strip on every sensor. The individual unique uh, serial number for each individual sensor. These sensors um, are on all uh, C6's from uh, 2005 through 2007 and I'm sure they'll be the 2008 sensor as well. They uh, must be triggered with a uh, radio frequency transmission from a tire sensor reset tool such as this ATEC or uh, these Schraders which are exactly the same as Bartek tools. They're the same identical tool just uh, sold by Sh uh, Schrader who actually makes our sensors. These are a uh, different sensor from early 05's and this is actually what's in the the uh, wheels on my car uh, right now. And I'll show you that uh, they can be triggered with a magnet. Now why in the hell the general change from these things to the ones that require a radio frequency tool, I don't know. It sure would have been a lot easier if they just stuck with the magnetically activated ones. But I'll show you how that works. Uh, we can do some diagnostics with some of these tools. This is a very simple uh, tool such as the Bartek track side and if you interrogate a if you interrogate the sensor uh, activate it or excite it or trigger it I push the button and uh, and then when it, the, uh, the sensor actually sent its uh, ID number and pressure and so on out uh, you could hear that chirping sound from the, the uh, uh, tool same thing with uh, this one which is like a Bartek Tech 300. What we need to do is select to get this first light illuminated. You can see as you can uh, progressively push and release this button it uh, lights up different numbers of lights. What we want to get is number one to uh, excite the Corvette sensor. Then push the button. What we're doing is diagnostic here to check the sensor just make sure it's working good. You can hear that tone from the tool. That indicates that the sensor is transmitting and that everything's good. Sensor battery is good and it's ready to install in a uh, tire. This ATAC tool um, has a screen on it that displays some stuff like the serial number of the sensor um, and the uh, tire pressure. Um, let's see if I can get it where you can read it here. Um, uh, uh, what it says right now is vehicle selection and I'm going to select um, Chevrolet and then I'm going to select uh, uh, select Chevrolet and it says start and I'm going to go ahead and start and I'll interrogate this sensor it says uh, yeah. Looks like you can't read the screen here. It says step one of four. Two of four. What it's doing is hunting for the right protocol to talk to the sensor. Step three of four. And I just got a little buzz and this little pass light illuminated right here and it's displaying on the screen uh, the sensor ID number 0268 uh, 9060 which is exactly the same number as on this barcode strip on the tool or on the uh, sensor rather. So that's how you can do some diagnostics with these tools.